Welcome to one of my favorite places that I love to call home, St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Today I'm very pleased to present to you a Lagoon 620, a vessel in which I have a lot of familiarity myself, having captained many of them in the recent past few years, Mahasattva. Immediately you can see the striking black top sides with a contrasting deck and flybridge makes a very, very striking impression and this boat always commands a great deal of attention out on the water. Welcome aboard Mahasattva, our featured Lagoon 620. I'm going to give you a nice little walkthrough here today. My name is Glenn Hurd. I'm with Virgin Islands Yacht Broker, and we are very proud to have the listing for this vessel available right now for you for sale. Uh, you can see we start right here in this beautiful cockpit. It's really the center of entertainment on this vessel and where most people like to spend a lot of their time outdoors and it's, it's so vast and comfortable. You can see we have the beautiful cockpit table here which seats eight very comfortably and can easily accommodate ten. Over on the side here we have this beautiful lounge spectacular any time of day particularly my favorites for the sunsets great views you've got some nice shading and you'll notice the entire cockpit has a complete 180 degree view all the way across from the beams of the boat through the back which is very unobstructed so that's really a nice feature not present on all catamarans so you really feel open to the environment and you can see everything going on around you which is wonderful. You'll see also that there are lots of canvas that can be dropped for either shade, privacy, inclement weather, so you can really seal the cockpit in as well when you want those more intimate or drier moments. Also we have this spectacular beverage center right here, uh, huge beautiful tabletop area. There's a, an area to put your garbage here, wonderful sink uh, for beverage service, you can see here we do have an active charter yacht, so lots of uh, adult beverages uh, ready and to go here. There's also storage compartment here. As well, we have a refrigerator for your cold beers and mixers, sodas, water, what have you, and also an ice maker, isotherm. And you can see also on the back here, beautiful uh, sun lounging or just relaxation area. Uh, completely open. Let's go ahead and make our way around the vessel. Uh, worth mentioning, you can see the dinghy here is on the tender lift. So we have a 15 foot high field with a 70 horse Yamaha four stroke. Beautiful, uh, relatively new dinghy. The tender lift is designed to lift the dinghy completely out of the water. Very easy, lands on chocks, but also once fully deployed with the tender lift down, and the dinghy off of it, the ends fold open and create a vast beach platform that reaches out to the two sides of the swim platform. So you are completely engaged and you have an entire open pool concept back here, if you will. We have a fold down uh, swim ladder with a second removable swim ladder on starboard as well. So we just come up these couple little steps, very beautiful teak decks here as well, you'll note, uh, some nice storage areas. Your shore power attachments go here. We have two services, one for the batteries and all high load AC. The other handles all the air conditioning systems of which it's vast on this vessel. There are two chiller units and uh, at least I think it's 10 or 11 air handlers, one for each and every cabin. They can all be controlled individually. So that's a very nice feature as well. So let's go ahead and follow around the boat. You'll notice here this hatch compartment opens up to the galley. So it gives you some nice access and ventilation. Also, anyone in the galley is able to see the dinghy coming from behind, which is a nice feature. We have some extra Yeti coolers as well, uh, given her charter heritage. So you can see we have some nice handrails here on the combing for the flybridge. The standing rigging is all protected for the sails with the plastic covers. Check out this really wide, beautiful gunnel. Lots of space, very easy to walk along, and also secure with all these handles. 
The vessel is complete with tons of diving gear, all kinds of water sports. We have a couple inflatable Bote stand-up paddle boards here. Also on the foredeck is a wonderful two-person Bote inflatable kayak. One of the features I really love with this vessel as well, and you'll note we have twin headsails here, and essentially you have the big Genoa and a staysail on the inner. They're both completely electric pro furl systems, so very hassle-free and easy to operate. Also, you can see the rigging is set up for a Code Zero or Spinnaker uh, off of the bowsprit here as well. No shortage of relaxation and lounging spaces aboard uh, Mahasattva. You can see beautiful areas here. We have ourselves a Lumar windlass with an oversized 12 millimeter chain in exceptional condition. There's no rusting or anything on it. We have ourselves a nice steel spade anchor that's well matched to the chain and everything else. A couple trampolines up here. Really a vast, wide vessel. We have a couple more Bote seats here. Underneath these cushions are four separate Lazarus compartments uh, for storage. You can easily put all of your fenders and lines underneath here. Again, just a tremendous amount of space. Well equipped and occupied. Good extra high stanchions and lifelines. There's a couple gates here you can open on each side, both on starboard and port. If you want to jump off the sides, always makes for great photo action. Uh, all kinds of safety gear. This is presently a red ensign boat, meaning it has a, a Bridges or, origination uh, registration. So therefore is a very strong accompaniment of safety gear all over the boat. We have a gym buoy, man overboard system here, life ring, uh, safety package. Now as we come down here onto the starboard uh, aft deck and swim platform, you can see there's a beautiful oversized magma stainless steel grill mounted here and it's plumbed directly into the propane for the vessel so you don't have to use the one pound disposables. Better for the environment, better for your pocketbook and a lot more effective with very uh, seldom refills. The, when we get to the galley, you'll see it also uses propane as well for the hobs, for the stovetop. And there are two separate 20 uh, pound tanks for both the grill and that. So you have extra storage and um, tremendous versatility. So as we come back into the wonderful cockpit here, let's go ahead and make our way up to the flybridge. Hi, here we are on this wonderful flybridge. So I'm at the port helm station, which is the primary helm station. And you can see here we have a beautiful full-size wheel, uh, all leather wrapped, an entire complement of B&G system components with chart plotter, built-in radar. We have wind instruments, autopilot. In addition, we have a B&G uh, repeater. VHF with the primary unit downstairs, controls for our Lumar windlass, uh, DC circuit breakers for all the lighting, navigation lights, cockpit lights, the fl uh, Bimini flybridge lights and spreader lights and what have you, controls for the Volvos. So again, we do have twin Volvo D310 horsepower each engines. We have three stations, port, starboard, and also at the nav station inside the uh, saloon. So if we take a look now, you can see we also have the second station over at starboard, which is a complete replication of everything we have at port. So part of the beauty of this is not only just for sailing, and general comfort and enjoyment, but also uh, for dockage, it is incredible to be able to have these dual stations, depending which side of the vessel you would like to, to dock into the port. And 
What's beautiful on all of the Lagoon 620s is you actually have complete view over the flybridge combing to the very tip of the bow all the way back to the swim platform. So it makes it very easy to see everything. I've been on much smaller catamarans where you don't have that luxury of being able to have full visibility during dockage, not to mention the dual stations, which is still quite rare in, in relatively small sized vessels. So. The whole entire flybridge is very spacious. Teak decking once again. Beautiful table here with some lounging seats. Uh, I'm really overwhelmed by this wonderful non-original equipment bimini. You can see how large it is, and it's a stainless steel solid structure, uh, including steps to go up on top if you need access there. Uh, and also it has the Sumbrella bimini over top. And a nice feature that I don't see quite often as much as I'd like is you can see there's covers so that you can actually close up the windows. So when you don't want that, if you just want to get out of the sun and get out of the glare, you can seal them up. Otherwise, you have excellent visibility to all of your sails. Uh, we, again, we have a full complement on this vessel. We have custom designed sails. These are not Lagoon OEMs. They were made specifically for Mahasattva and a beautiful uh, fully battened mainsail. We have a Genoa up forward, a staysail, and accommodation with the rigging for a Code Zero or Spinnaker, not presently aboard. And if we come forward here, my favorite feature of the sail rigging here, as you can see, we have four Harkin 80 uh, oversized electric winches, all of them fully electric, two speed. Uh, fabulous to see that on a 620 and a really welcome addition. Uh, you can see we have the jammers, all spin lock, which are easy releasing. Um, and they handle everything for you. There's also wind instruments, both starboard and port. So when you're right in there, in the thick of the action, you can see everything that's going on and understand all your tacking angles. And as we move forward, again, we have this beautiful sun lounge here for the sun worshipers. Uh, and you can see everything is nicely set up on the mast. Everything is led back into the flybridge cockpit for easy handling, no ne not necessitating coming up to the mast here at all. But there are mast steps so you can climb up to the boom and facilitate anything you need there. A couple more creature comforts back here uh, inside our flybridge. You'll note here we have a nice electric fridge so that um, you've got nice ice cold beers, sodas, water right here so you don't have to go down below. Uh, and use one of the many other fridges. Also, this uh, is a really nice addition to having a secondary beverage center on the flybridge. You can see a fold up top with its own secondary sink and lots of storage for your uh, favorite bottles. And of course, you could put some glasses here and whatnot. So, very functional. And not to be missed, it's a nice little extra feature here. In the case of inclement weather, there is an automatic electric closing cover here, which seals off the flybridge. And that way, any rain that might pass past the bimini will effectually be cut off from going down onto the stairs and into the cockpit, making the cockpit very dry, which is a beautiful, beautiful addition. What do you say? Let's go back downstairs and take a look at the interior. Mahasattva is the highly sought after down galley version of the 620, which has afforded this really spacious uh, and overwhelmingly comfort saloon. You can see there's beautiful seti, lots of seating here, nice cockpit table. We have a Samsung smart TV that actually hides away when out of use, but you can go ahead and lift that up and it also tilts so you can enjoy it anywhere within the salon or even from the cockpit. So if you've got that game on that you just absolutely must see, uh, you can either enjoy it from the comfort of the saloon or you can also still be outside and also enjoying that. Beautiful. Over on starboard, we have another wonderful L-shaped seti a couple tables. These tables actually can go down or up, so you can put them at whatever level you like. And this is a very fun feature. 
If you care to dine inside, you simply fold out the sides, turns around, and the two mate together to make a, an equal eight-person dining just as you have outside in the cockpit. So if you uh, wanted to come in and enjoy the air conditioning or just enjoy the luxury of the interior, um, you have that option as well. Moving forward here, we have the nav station, and there is a portable bench that can be moved here if you like. As discussed before, we do have another Volvo control center here, an autopilot. Uh, extra large display on the chart plotter here is the primary. Uh, we have a Navtex instrument, uh, still popular in the Mediterranean, if you happen to be cruising there. Not sure if it's going to show up here, but the Lagoon controls. It's uh, an iPad touchpad here, and you can see you can access all of your different functions on the boat and turn your lights on and off here. Navigation lights, which are also on the flybridge as well, but they can be turned on electronically right here on the iPad, which is a nice feature. You can also troubleshoot any electrical issues you have. This will tell you any systems that are potentially not working or need addressing. Uh, you also have all your battery status and your tankage. Yeah both starboard and port fuel and water tanks, which is nice to having separate systems. And uh, who doesn't appreciate a wine cuvee? And there's another one in the galley. We'll see that. Uh, actually, let's go see that right now. The down galley on the Lagoon 620s is one of the most incredible uh, structures I've seen and it's really the most pleasurable to use on a charter vessel, but certainly for private as well. You can see this tremendous amount of counter space, dual sinks, a restaurant style control faucet head, beautiful uh, portal looking out here. So you're not locked in the galley when you're, you're working as a galley slave, you still have full accessibility to outside. Uh, this door opens up here and you can see outside, you can also hand up plates for the cockpit, which is a nice feature. Uh, looks right over the swim platform. You can also see when the dinghy's coming in. Uh, typically, there is a set of stairs here to walk up. Uh, they've elected to put this extra dual fridge-freezer system in here, uh, providing a, a tremendous amount of refrigeration because we also have the full-size stand-up fridge in the corner here, which you'll see in a minute. Voila, here we go, complete with filtered water and ice freezer, and fridge. Right here, da -da, we have a washer-dryer combo unit, which is a wonderful feature to have. Anytime, anyone who's spent a lot of time at sea, you appreciate how nice it is to be able to clean your clothes without popping them in the dinghy and taking them ashore. Dishwasher, it's a very full-featured galley. We have a five, no, four, my apologies, four burner propane stove, lots more galley space, Tons of storage. You can see all the various compartments. As well, of course, stove, microwave, which is convection, and as promised, a second cuvee. So we take a look at the guest cabins. Adjacent to the nav station in the forward salon, we also have our main controls. We have circuit breakers for bird battery switches and bilge pumps, bilge pump alarm system, which is a nice feature. At a glance, you can know exactly if you have any challenges and where the trouble may lie. Sea recovery, automated system control for the uh, water maker system. We also have the master control for the chillers right here and controls for both Cummins Onan 23 and a half kilowatt gem sets and battery monitor.
Thank you for joining me today aboard Maha Sattva, our Lagoon 620 we're featuring. I hope you enjoyed uh, experiencing all of the wonderful features that this vessel has. Uh, my name again is Glenn Hurd with Virgin Islands Yacht Brokers and any questions you might have or further information or specifications on this vessel, please follow the link down below and reach out to me. It would be my pleasure to be able to show you this beautiful vessel so you can have a personal inspection of your own. Thank you again for your time.